Any particular secrets, for example, that uh, you have found out or that are going to create some magic uh, so as to make you a much better business person because uh, you already seem to be on the right track uh, despite your young age, really? Oh, yes, Shaka. I have really two most important things. Uh, I feel that now I love my country and mm -hmm. I love my continent than... I think better than I did before I came for this program. Mm -hmm. I have got more skills. I have seen in the U.S. how everyone, practically from the private sector and from the government, the efforts they are putting in to create jobs in the U.S.A. Mm -hmm. I have heard stories and seen specific things that are being done to attract bright people mm -hmm. who come from across the world to come to the United States mm -hmm. and stay because that is what creates wealth and that's what creates, what, that's what creates change for better things. So what I wish for my country is that we are in position to first of all, I have personally, I have developed my skills. Right mm -hmm. now I have seen things that I'm interning at uh, Alco Corporation. Mm -hmm. It's the third largest agriculture equipment manufacturer in the world. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what level of business is going on there. What is the single most important lesson that uh, you have learned since you went there so far? Before you make decisions, especially in business, have all the information you need. It's not Definitely. enough to just say, I love this and I want to do it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Have the desire to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. But also have the skills mm -hmm. and the tactics to mm -hmm. do it right. Mm -hmm. You don't make a mistake. But what about when uh, you come from a country, for example, uh, whose democratic credentials are challenged? How can that country, for example, provide an enabling environment for you as an entrepreneur, frankly, uh, to do your thing? To be honest with you, uh, Shaka, the thing is that um, when you look at the African continent right now, the glass is half full. It's not half empty. Mm -hmm. We have come from far. If you look at Uganda, for example, we mm -hmm. have come from what they say is the Idi Amin era. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born to see what happened, but I have read what happened then. Mm -hmm. We have had uh, the situation of the LRA war, which just ended. Mm -hmm. and we have had all these conflicts that have you know, afflicted our neighboring countries for a very long time. There has not been a time when there has been peace and however much we have dis political disagreements going on in the country right now, mm -hmm. but when you compare with where we have come from, mm -hmm. we are posed for the right direction. And for me, I want people to realize that no matter what circumstances we find ourselves in, mm -hmm. our obligation is to make things better. Mm -hmm. And that is what we should strive for.